This is a metal elbow cup. Back then, they would have had this. More likely, it'd be leather than metal. Um, boiled leather is called carboli. Uh, thickness, it's about the same strength as wood. They would have had a leather vambrus with metal with a leather lame coming up the top. Top might have had a metal plate here if they were really lucky. Towards the end of the Middle Ages, it transitioned into this fully articulated light, uh, plate armor. Leg armor would be basically a larger version of this. Same thing. Elbow uh, knee cop with leather coming up off the top, possibly the bottom. Towards the late Middle Ages, it transitioned into this. The larger version of this would go over my knee just like this. It'd protect down my uh, shins and protect up here where the chainmail didn't protect. And it's called a fully articulated mitten gauntlet. As you see when I put it on, it protects the entire hand and I can still hold a sword. Plus as an added bonus, if you lose your sword and you're in a melee, you punch the guy, grab his sword and then kill him with it. Uh, shield. This is a very period design of a shield. It's called a heater. This is just oak plywood that we've laminated together. It's rather thick and they would have had a leather strap here and a leather uh, strap there to hold on to. This is just for our protection since we do fight full out. Helmets would have been something like this. You start out with an arming cap. You put more padding on top if you're in a pot helm. Then you put a chainmail coif, which is basically a chainmail sock with a hole for your face. And this is called a pot helm. This is what most crusaders used. As you can see, not very much visibility, and it cooks like an oven.